Yes, and uh, welcome all of you in this lecture, in this free lecture. And this lecture is free of about environmental physics. Kwa hiyo, kama rakona itaji topic yote ya physics, yu ni magnetism, electronics, heat, na topic nyingine nyingine nyingi, current, surface tension, mechanics ile yote, zile simple harmonic, rotation dynamics, cycle motion, Newton's law of motions, uh, errors and dimension, ile measurement yote, <coughs> kama utakona itaji, basi utanitafuta kwa namba 0693662424 kwa hiyo au unaweza kukomenta hapo chini au kama upo kwenye group kwa nitafuta lakini namba yangu ni hiyo yani 0693662424 kwa unaweza kukopy hiyo namba mahali kwa tuna kwenye kwenye daftari lako hapo kwa tunaendelea na kipindi hapo kwa kama unahitaji topic yote ya, ya, ya pure bam za biology kama unazihitaji hapo kwa biology sizifundishi mimi lakini naweza kukuunganisha na daktari anayefundisha eh, mimi nafundisha physics na hesabu nafundisha vitu ambavyo ni uhalisia ambavyo vitu ambavyo unaweza tukaviprove hapo uh, our lecture today will be very interesting about environmental physics uh, environmental physics is nothing about it is the application of principle of physics to problems in natural and man-made environment hiyo ndo maana environmental physics yani tunaenda kuangalia jinsi principles za physics ambazo tunazi apply kwenye ma mazingira ambayo ni yametengenezwa au ambayo ni natural ambayo yako tangu Mungu ameumba ulimwengu na kwenye topic tutaenda kuangalia subtopic hizi tano tutaenda kuangalia agricultural physics energy from environment na kuangalia zile source of energy wind energy electric energy na ndia wave energy ziko hapa tazikuta tazikuta hapa energy nyingi nyingi light energy kutokea kwenye solar after na kuangalia geophysics na tutaenda kukuta hapa na mambo ya ya hydrosphere metrosphere tutaenda kuyakuta hapa earthquake tutaenda ku discuss about earthquake source of earthquake effect of earthquake ndio maswali yake yanatoka hivyo list five effect of earthquake kwa hiyo na vitu ambavyo vitu fulani vi simple simple sana uh, na tutaenda kuangalia kitu cha mwisho ambacho ni environmental pollution without losing time much let's see, move forward to agricultural physics uh, agricultural physics is a study of physical environment in relation to plant growth yani una is a study of physical environment yani una study una study mazingira in the relation of plant growth and as this subtopic you will go through this heading tena tutapita vitu vifuatavyo 1 cha kwanza ambacho tunaenda kuangalia kwenye hii subtopic ya agricultural physics tutaenda kuangalia component of solar radiation yani kwenye ule mwanga wa jua ule kuna vitu gani mbele ndani ah uh, tutaenda kuangalia heating effect of solar radiation to on plants yani uki ule uki expose mwanga wa jua kwenye planti una effect gani ukiwa excess au ukiwa minimum ukazidi kiwango kabisa yani ukawa ni ile deficiency kabisa ukapungua kuliko kawaida As the influence of aerial environment on the plants grows uh, wind belt soil na kuidiscuss hum kidogo lakini soil sio kama soil ya kwenye kemia ile ndio ku discuss soil fun simple simple sana and uh, techniques for for improvement of plant environment uh, tukuta kuna jina hapo ndo aliandika hizo notes component of solar radiation solar radiation is is em radiation electromagnetic radiation emitted by the sun and ile solar radiation ile mwanga wa jua ni electromagnetic radiation emitted by the sun this radiation travels through the atmosphere to the earth surface before reaching the earth surface its composition is changed it into scattering diffusion and absorb absorption cha kwanza kinachofanya pale wanavotoka kwenye 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 jua una, una, cha kwanza wanafanya scattering na mambo ya absorption pale kama tunavyoona cha kwanza wanafanya scattering una wanafanya diffusion afu waliofanya 
absorption kwa hiyo maana cha kwanza anatoka kwenye jua hapo toka kwenye jua hapa inakuja inakuwa separated maana ndio inafanya scattering scattering maana yake inakuwa separate ishafanya scattering inakuja inafanya process ya pili ambayo ni absorption kama unavyoona hiyo diffusion ina diffuse uh, across the the cloud across the cloud na kisha diffuse across the cloud na huyu anafanya absorption kwenye hii surface hii surface ina absorb mwanga wa jua during the day time na during during the night inafanya reflection ndio maana kuna concept of question unaja kuulizwa kwa nini wakati wa usiku mvua ikitaka kunyesha inakupa gini joto kwa during the cloud day when the ile mvua ikitaka kunyesha kuna kupa kuna kuna joto kwa hiyo the black ni kwamba during the daytime as in absorb right from the sun na during the night time as inakuwa inafanya reflection inatoa huko na spike kwa hiyo kama kuna mawingu huko zako zina reflect hapa zinarudi tena kwa hiyo joto itakuwa jingi duniani ah japo kwa kwenye mada yetu sio hiyo mada yetu sio hiyo sio tuendelee na mada yetu scattering diffusion and absorption is caused by gases water vapors particles and the cloud present in the atmosphere kama nilivyokuelezea hapo as a result this effect three component can be distinguished at the surface uh, kuna kitu ambacho cha kwanza tunasema direct radiation radiation that come in a straight line and it can be forecast with the lens or a mirror diffuse radiation radiation infiltrated by the atmosphere or scattered by the cloud and the other particles this ni aina za radiation uh, na kitu kingine ambacho kuna radiation nyingine ambayo ni reflected radiation radiation infiltrated by the ground and the other physical surrounding kind of kuelezea pale usiku hii dunia inafanya reflection kwa hiyo hiyo ni aina moja hapo ya radiation na utolewa usiku hapa imefanya absorption imefanya uh, reflection hapa ilifanya scattered scattered radiation na ndo ambayo hiyo ambayo ni radio direct sema this three component combined form the global radiation eh yeah, okay, combine hizo zote hizi tatu maana hizi zote tatu zinaokaa zina during ile yani kila siku zinatokea hizo kwa hiyo hizo zote mbili tatu kizikombine una form kitu ambacho kinaitwa global radiation. Ah, uh, tuje tuangalie sasa definition hapo tuseme sol global solar radiation is the sum of the direct diffuse and reflected solar radiation radiating a photohorizontal surface. Ni ile ukichukua jumla is the sum of of the direct diffuse and reflected solar radiation irradiating flat horizontal surface maana kuchukua ni ile sum ya ile direct radiation diffuse radiation na reflected solar radiation ah kutana kuna concept ya question iko hapo hiyo hapo nasema why does the sky appear blue during the day and the lady color at the sunset sunrise and sunset unaweza kanipatia majibu hapo kwa comment hapo chini Eh. Wazoka ingia tu Google katafuta hapo. Eh nataka nione kama wanafunzi kweli wanafuatilia vipindi. Kwa hiyo nataka nipate majibu sababu kazi nyingi kwa natoa sioni majibu kwa hiyo ili uone kama wanafunzi kweli wanafanya vitu lazima kuna hata kama sio wote lakini awepo hata mmoja basi anatoa majibu. Ah tuje tuangalie heating effect of solar radiation. Nikuachia kama hivyo utakavyoenda kusearch utaenda kukutana na material mengi kule kwa hiyo nenda ka, ka, ka search hapo ili ili ongeze na matilo mengine heating effect of solar radiation on a plant each hiki kipengele cha pili shangara kipindi kipengele cha kwanza hicho hapo radiation hayo hiki kipengele cha pili heating effect of solar radiation on the plant solar spectrum is a band of three electromagnetic wave electromagnetic wave tatu zimeso zimeform ile solar radiation na spectrum ya kwanza ambao ni light ya kwanza ni UV ultraviolet light 
ya pili ni visible light and ya tatu ni infrared radiation approximately 50% of the radiation emitted by the sun is visible light ni ile light ambayo inaonekana so ndio ndio maana unaona tunaona mwanga huko kwa hiyo tunapoona ule mwanga ni visible light ah uh, ultraviolet light radiation is energetic sunlight reaching the earth surface and effect the plant yo uv uv ndio ina effect ah uh, effect ya kwanza ya uv aka hapa tuko tunaangalia effect ya hizo solar radiation kwenye plant effect ya kwanza intense radiation prevent seed growth hiyo ya kwanza and spreading as soil become compacted and lose nutrient needed to for plant growth na hapa ikiendelea sana sima spreading as soil become po, compacted udongo utabanana sana ni ukienda kukauka sana na utaruzi nutrients ambazo nutrients zinahitajika kwa ajili ya plant growth na ya pili anasema UV radiation destroys and kills plant cell zile the cells the cells are mere zikipigwa sana na jua zinakufa and co co causing the restricted plant growth yani mmea unakuwa haukui kuta majani ya njano majani yakiwa njano maana mmea utengeneza chakula prolonged yani ukifanya uki kwa muda mrefu ndio maana prolonged yani kwa muda mrefu uki prolonged the radiation maana radiation ikitokea kwa muda mrefu can destroy the fertility of plant by reach, by breaching green pigment and reducing the rate of photosynthesis itafanya breaching itatoa ile green ndio ana kukwambia hapa mkuta majani na kwa njano kipindi fulani cha kiangazi ni ile prolonged radiation leo imepigwa na jua kesho na kesho kutwa na kesho kutwa sasa hiyo inaitwa prolonged radiation can cause can destroy the fertility of the plant by bleaching itaitoa ile green pigment ya kwenye ya kwenye leaf na it reduce the rate of photosynthesis unajua photosynthesis inasababishwa na ile green green pigment kwenye leaf nasema not all radiation is bad ni ukweli kabisa kwamba not all radiation is bad kwa sababu hizo hizo UV kwa namna nyingine zinatumiwa kutengeneza food kwenye plant kwa kutumia photosynthesis process uh, not all radiation is bad infrared radiation and visible light helps plant to conduct photosynthesis uh, nadhani kwa lecture hii tuishie hapa lakini kana vijua kipindi hiki ni kiko free tumesoma hapo hizo vitu kadhaa hapo lakini bado kuna topic zingine zingine nyingi ambazo ni za muhimu na bidii mwanafunzi azisome leo tumejifunza hapo kwenye agricultural physics na tumeangalia vitu hiki cha kwanza component of solar radiation na tumeshia hicho kitu cha pili tubakia vitu moja mbili tatu nne kwa hiyo hivi ngine tutaendelea kwenye pindi ninapofuatia na ngwambia tu kwamba kama unakuwa unahitaji topic yoyote ya kwenye physics pure mathematics bam bei tu tunaongea na nikutakia ufuatiliaji mzuri wa dr Mlelo's lecture don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and to share our videos na vipindi vyetu ambavyo tunaviuza hauwezi kuvipata kama ukitafuta vipindi vya electronics umeweza kuvikuta. Kwa hiyo mpaka mpaka tukupe special linki ukishalipia ndio unaweza kuvipata. Kwa hiyo nikutakia tu ufuatiliaji mwema wa Dr. Mlelo's lecture. Kama unataka unahitaji topic wengi ambao wasome Dr. Mlelo's lecture ni uhakika kufaulu kwa sababu unafundishwa na watu ambao tayari tumefanya mitihani ya competency based tumeiona tumeiangalia inavyotoka na kipindi kipindi cha competence based kwa hiyo ukienda okay, same za analogi uka make bei zetu sisi ni bei rahisi sana na unasoma kwa speed unayotaka unasoma kwa muda unaotaka uh, basi nikutakia tu uwe na wakati mwema mtu wa Mungu